Hello, and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm a fragrance lover, and for my first video, I wanted to review perfumes that are included in Victoria's Secret's winter semi-annual sale. I don't see a lot of videos on BS perfumes, but I personally love them. So let's get started. So first up, I have Bombshell Celebration, and this was this year's holiday release. They always seem to release a different bombshell scent for the holidays. And I really like this one. Now I bought my bottle before semi-annual sale started. It, I found it was a little bit actually hard to find during the sale, but I have seen it pop up a few times online. So definitely keep checking back if you're looking for this. Now this one has notes of champagne, pink peony, woodsy notes, sandalwood, and spruce. And I really like this. So this, this is very sparkling. Um, it's sweet, light, and it just smells really pretty. That's the best way I can describe it. It's it's kind of just a sweet, pretty, sparkling scent. Um, definitely you sense kind of that soft floral in the background, but overall it's just pretty. And it's definitely different from the regular bombshell and, and it doesn't really smell like any of the other past bombshell releases to me. So I definitely think this, this one is worth picking up. Um, some people compare it to Killian's Rolling in Love, which I do have. And, you know, I, I see a little bit of similarity, but I definitely think that this is a little different. Um, I think the bottle is beautiful. It comes with that little charm on it, as well as the, the nice ribbon to the side. So I definitely think that this was a good release and one that's worth hunting down if you can find it. So this one is Exo Victoria. This one is also one that they brought back from a previous collection. Now I have it from the original release, so the bottle is different. Um, currently it's in more of that kind of plain bombshell shaped bottle. And this one has notes of apple, citrus, rose, orchid, ivy, and woody notes. And for me, I get a lot of that apple. It kind of reminds me of DKNY Be Delicious. Um, that apple kind of has a background um, of a sweet powdery rose and I don't really get the ivy or the citrus too much. Um, to me, you know, it's very prominently apple with kind of that sweet floral background. I really do enjoy this one. I just wish that they had kept the bottle because I think it's uh, much more pretty from its original release. So this one is Bombshell Paris, and when it originally came out, it was just called Paris, um, but it does resemble the rest of the Bombshell line, so I guess they decided to go ahead and start calling it Bombshell Paris. They brought it back for the sale this year, um, well, 2021, last year, and I have the bottle from the original release, so um, it definitely doesn't look like this in the new uh, format. It's, it's, again, that kind of plain Bombshell bottle, um, but... This one has notes of cypress, night blooming jasmine, white cedar extract, and oak moss. And this is a very wintry scent. Um, you know, it came out for the holidays originally, and it's definitely a very woody perfume. You definitely smell some of those, um, some of those woody and kind of green notes. Um, you also smell that floral from the night blooming jasmine. It's, it's, it almost seems like a unisex scent to me, but it's very pretty. Um, it's definitely, you know, the first thing that comes to mind when I smell this is, is winter. Um, it, it definitely smells like it's something you should be wearing while you're out in the snow. Um, it is a very pretty scent. Um, this isn't a scent I would wear very often just because I don't tend to, you know, really pick up, you know, really kind of green, woody scents um but around the holidays i think this is really nice to have and from the original release i love the bottle it is so beautiful um it looks like crystal um love the beautiful red bow um but i do think you know even in the the kind of plainer bombshell bottle it's still a nice presentation and if you love you know kind of those wintry woody scents um this is definitely one that i think you should pick up so this one is Tease Dreamer, and this is a flanker for Tease. And this one has come back the last few semi-annual sales, and I finally picked it up. And I, I really do like this one. So this has notes of coconut, sea salt, and solar notes. And to me, it's not a super sweet coconut. It's kind of like a warm, creamy coconut. And the, when they say solar notes, you know, I'm kind of getting that, that brightness in the background. Um, I don't really smell a lot of the sea salt, but it definitely... It brings the sweetness down. So it's a nice beachy scent. Um, you know, it's nothing spectacular, but I do, I do enjoy it. And I like that 
as they've been bringing this back um, in the last several sales, it stayed in this original bottle. So, um, you know, definitely a good addition to the teas line, different than, you know, some of the other deeper, sweeter teases. Um, so I do like this one. So next up is Just a Kiss, which originally came out a couple years ago. I didn't pick it up then, but I decided to go ahead and give it a try when it came out again for semi-annual sale. This one has notes of lip gloss, peony, and pink pepper. It actually smells very similar to Crush, which is why I put that next to it there. Their notes are almost exactly the same, and they both have a very kind of fresh, clean smell with a little bit of that kind of lipstick vibe. Um, I think that Just a Kiss, the pink pepper is a little bit more prominent, but overall, they're just kind of a nice, fresh, clean scent with a little bit of sweetness behind them. Finally, we have Rapture. Now this one is in a different bottle than it was when it came out originally. It used to have a cute heart-shaped bottle. I'm not really a fan of this plain packaging, but I wanted to go ahead and pick it up anyway because I never actually got to smell the original. I'm, I hear it's a little bit different, um, but I am a fan of rose scents and this is a heavy rose scent, so I wanted to try it. This one has notes of orange blossom, citrus, jasmine, Bulgarian rose, freesia, amber, heliotrope, vanilla, and musk. Now, it's very strong. Um, you can definitely smell this uh, a little from afar. Um, the rose is prominent, and um, you can smell that warm amber base. I don't get too much vanilla. It smells very floral to me. Um, I like it. It's not, you know, one of my top favorites from Victoria's Secret, but I'm glad I have it in my collection. Thanks for watching, and let me know if there's other VS scents you'd like me to review.